say that this vlog is the moving vlog. It's a lot of just really kind of still quiet moments from me trying to get some sort of homeostasis back into my life at the new place where we live and I am so grateful for where we live now. It's so nice. Double the space of what we had. Evie has a backyard. It's unreal. But um, yeah, I thought maybe I would just take you through the rest of today and then splice in the clips of stuff that I've done previously before. So thank you for watching this vlog. Um, I'm going to be taking a little bit more of a ASMR approach in this one. And right now I'm going to be hanging up my good luck horseshoe that I got a while ago. I used to have horses and putting a upside down horseshoe over the threshold into your home is a um, kind of like Arizona urban myth of bringing good luck and good fortune into your home. So it's one of the first decoration items that I almost always put up. Time for a time lapse. So I decided to record myself drinking iced tea and putting up my posters. I really like plants and botanical prints, so I treated myself to some posters. They're pretty cheap. They're only like eight bucks on Amazon. If you're into them, I'll link them in the description box. But I really wanted to put these up on the walls in this place. I got a butterfly one, a fern one, an air plant one, and a mineral one. I also put up my rainbow catching prism stickers, and since the sun sets in the west, and that's a west facing window, we get absolutely gorgeous rainbows throughout the afternoon. It is incredible. So something that I got in the mail when we were moving is this watermelon hibiscus tea. This is one of my favorite teas ever. I absolutely love watermelon. I might be a little biased though because my birthday is in the summer so I love watermelon. Um, but this tea was just so refreshing and it was so hot when we were moving and trying to find spots for everything and moving around a lot. I just, this tea was my lifeblood. I swear I would have bled just like this cold brew pack is. But another reason I like it is because you can brew it over cold iced water and the flavor still gets in there. It's really good. The next morning's cuddles with Evie. Um, like I said in my video about Evie, I'll link it in the top uh, left hand corner of how I got her. But she's just a professional cuddler, and I said that she did this every morning. So here's proof every morning, me and my girl cuddle. Time for another time lapse. So. Um, as I said earlier in this video, I really like plants and I've been growing bok choy and kale in, um, arrow gardens and the arrow gardens just got too feckant, too overgrown. So I'm going ahead and potting them up so that they can live outside and continue to grow and I can just do a cut and come again method with all of the leaves around the side. Um, you know, with Miss Rona around, everything's getting more expensive, so I'm just trying to do my part to not spend a lot of money first off, but also be a little bit more self-sustainable since I am blessed with a green thumb. You can see all my other house plants in the background around here. I also potted up a Monstera adansonii and a watermelon peperomia that my old neighbor Air, uh, my old neighbor Erin gave me. I don't know if she'll ever watch this, but thank you, Erin. The peperomia is doing really well, and since I put it in the soil, it's put out a lot of new good growth. And here back inside, I'm giving you a peek into some maintenance on my salad greens, arrow garden. I'm starting it back up again with new pods and fertilizer. I 
taped over the two open holes that were there to not promote algae with the light over it to help the seeds grow. Um, and I really like it. It's really awesome to just have like a little solid bar in your house and be like, oh yeah, I should have some greens and then just go over and snip some off and come again. The arrow gardens aren't too expensive and they're pretty easy to clean. You just have to clean them like once a month, trim the roots, make sure there isn't anything gross, any algae growing in there that... I like to clean mine with uh, vinegar if I have stuff growing in there and if I'm restarting the whole unit I do a bleach bath for it, but um, I was very excited to get some sprouts. This is what I was growing in the garden. I grew chives, chamomile, violets, and lavender. Um, this is future Ariana commenting. The lavender didn't take in the arrow garden, so I'm thinking of waiting for the planting season next year. So this was a nice little cozy morning that I turned on my new lights that I put in the kitchen. Um, the pendant light covers were mismatched and I didn't really like that so I just got these cheapo uh, cracked white glass ones because I knew I wanted to have the fire effect LED light bulbs in it. I think it creates the coziest atmosphere. I love looking at my living room from this point of view. It makes me feel like I'm in Skyrim. So here we've got my editing set up right now. I'm just taking a little break. I'm about to go ape shit on this Jeffree Star Rosiel comparison, but another thing I wanted to show you guys, I've got, I've been rearranging my artwork. I took down a poster and put it up in the bedroom that was over there. I've got my mineralogy one up there. Then my other Zani one over here, some wood hangers with an elk bone, stave, and cow, no this isn't cow, this is coyote, coyote bone. Um, but we were listening to records the other day and I was thinking of talking about them to you guys while I put them back. So then this vlog actually will make sense for this channel a little bit more but this is a outrun soundtrack from data that my boyfriend got we were listening to all of these over the weekend of fourth of july <clears throat> so this is a new one it was very 8-bit glitchy outrun goodness we've got some other Put it away, we've got some other ones from some other games. I think the Shinobi soundtrack, Revenge of Shinobi, and I don't know what that one is, but my boyfriend's really big into game soundtracks and stuff like that. This is uh, the Okami's soundtrack, I believe. Yes, the Okami soundtrack on vinyl. Mm hmm. Then, what else were we listening to? We were listening to some Flylo. More Flylo. Flying Lotus. Los Angeles album. Amoeba, may you rest in peace. One of the saddest casualties of the pandemic, I think, is losing Amoeba. 
Amoeba Records. It's like a really famous record store in Hollywood and they couldn't make their rent anymore. They were already looking for a new location, but the pandemic just straight up killed them. Shangri-La by this really weird band called Yacht, which was from like back in the day, but I just woke up on 4th of July and really wanted to listen to their song called Dystopia. This is their singer was introduced to them by Mitchell Davis <laughs> back when I was a hipster and we've got the knife deep cuts this is a classic album I will never be able to get enough of this album it's one of those ones that you can put on and even though it's like kind of like low-key bizarre Swedish music it just fits like summer this is a summer soundtrack classic for me Oh yeah, and then we popped this on. I think this is a local artist, my boyfriend said. I haven't, we didn't hear, I hadn't listened to it until we popped it on the record player. This is Mind Design Body Wash. It was really nice, kind of like lo-fi electro, well, not really electro, but like lo-fi beats to relax slash realign your chakras in the bath too. And then, last but not least, we have Baths. I feel like Baths is really the proto lo-fi to relax slash study to for me. I love this album, Cerulean, so much. I would constantly listen to it if I was, like, having a hard time with my insomnia. I would just put it on my record player and fall asleep listening to it. It's so soothing. So, so soothing. This album has Lovely Blood Flow on it, which was his first single that really got him some notoriety. And the whole, all of Side B is just really nice to fall asleep to. Side 1 is awesome, but it's a little bit more upbeat than Side B. Side B is very chill. Now I'm going to put all of these records away. So, I actually am so crazy that I have everything in alphabetical order. So we've got Beth. Before the Blade Runner soundtrack, but after Bass Drum of Death, Mind Design, and N, M, L, M, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. You should not belong here. You should belong here. Chance Joplin was, I don't know, not in her spot, being a crazy girl like she is. Let's see here. She should be before the kills. Ah, uh, and before Joy Division. There we go, Janice. Now you are back where you belong. The knife. The kills. We'll put the knife right next to Craftwork. Yacht. Who bully yacht? Um, they go right at the end. Y, Z, so they go before Zani. Okay, let's go. D, Darren Gray, <laughs> E, Brian Eno, Feeding People, Fleetwood Mac, Francois, after Fleetwood Mac. Okay, so I put all my records away and I'm gonna get back to editing and maybe the next you'll see me will be when I decide to redecorate the pictures that are up around here. So, 
unashamedly one of my favorite new pastimes is laying in the sun slash rainbows like a dog with my dog and just soaking in some vitamin D. It's really relaxing and it's kind of like going to the beach without going to the beach. I also really like looking at all the different rainbow prisms that are cast across my roof. I think they're absolutely gorgeous. Also, please excuse my permanent Swiffer just being out and around in this video. When you move, things get dirty and it's just nice to always clean. Also, a source of one of my many anxieties is having to use this tiny fridge that my father let me borrow. It's way too tiny for the two of us. Evie was being cute and trying to beg for food. Sometimes it backfires because I just completely forget about my food and just give her a ton of attention or take a ton of photos of her. And I forget to eat. Luckily though, Evie here never forgets to eat and always reminds me to because she threatens to eat whatever I won't. Another new morning, another pet session for Evie. So I like to make this tea whenever I feel like the uh, meme of coronavirus seasonal allergies and the flu pointing at each other. I like to add in this tea for swelling in my sinuses, bee pollen, and local honey to combat my allergies because that is almost always the culprit for me. But Chaosia did get a COVID test which came back negative, so hooray. This video actually took me a really long time to edit and get to a place that I was happy with. I just was so frustrated with myself because the audio for that video um, just disappeared and I had to read my own lips and try to edit it over and it was just really frustrating because I would watch it over and over again and try to read my lips and like write a script and see what I was saying but I just was so lost and um, I'll link the video up in the corner if you want to watch it. It's a very, very bad lip reading. If you like vlogs like this, I am starting a second channel where I post more silent daily life vlogs that... Daily life vlogs and content that is more suited towards the nature, spiritual side of myself. And this channel will be more for... The media that I consume and more of a speaking role. Okay, once again, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and putting those notifications on, and I will catch you in my next video, whatever it is. Bye!